and uh, focus on some other areas of ministry. And so uh, I feel like the Lord wanted me to go to school, get a degree in English instead of a degree in theology or anything like that, but get a degree in English so I can go into other nations, preach the gospel. And so I'm going incognito into other nations in the skies of education. So it's be fun. So actually, as soon as I get done with this camp, I have a few days home and I go to Japan to go preach at some Japanese people. Where are my Asians at? No offense. Okay. Bro, unless you blazing, you ain't Asian, bro. Okay. But I love Asian people, Filipino, and white people. I love all races, but I just have a special, special love in my heart for Asians. So hey, while we're doing this, if you got your Bibles, how many guys brought your Bibles to youth camp? This man got a Bible. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. What's your name? What is your name? Like that, that Kobe. Kobe. Like Kobe Bryant. Hey. Lakers. Genesis chapter 17, and uh, tonight I'm going to talk to you about what you're laughing at. What you're laughing at. Now, I'm the type of person, I love laughing. Man, I'm telling you, I love laughing. And this going to sound bad, I'm the preacher. But one of the funniest things for me is when I see people fall. I'm telling you, man, when I see people fall and just bust their butt on the pavement, it just brings me joy in the Lord. I don't know why. It happens. And so, I've been at a lot of camps before, and so I know one of y'all, y'all go bust your head wide open on one of these, these things, on a swing, doing something you're not supposed to be doing, tossing a rock. And this is what's gonna happen. I'm trained, certified, and first aid medical. So I'll come in, I'll run to the scene, make sure it's safe. I'll look at you, I'll say, hey, how you doing? You're like, mm -hmm, I'm good. And I'll say, you sure? You're like, mm -hmm, I'm good. You know, I'm like, I'm good. And then after that moment, I'm gonna laugh at you. I'm gonna be like, ah, I'm gonna be like, ah, I'm gonna You gotta call 911 and your mama gonna be mad at Isaac. Right? That's, that's just wrong. But I'm gonna laugh. So, how many of you guys with me? When you see somebody fall, you laugh. And please do me a favor if you see somebody fall at camp, make sure that they're okay. And if you have that type of relationship with them, then you can laugh at them. But if you don't know them and you laugh at them, you're an instrument of the devil. That's all I have to say. But I love laughing. And you know sometimes you get in situations where people aren't necessarily laughing with you. Thank you. They're laughing at you. How many of you guys have ever been laughed at before? You know what I'm talking about? Like when you was going to kindergarten or preschool. And your mom packed the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you had your mod pony uh, thermal or thermos or whatever you had. You had your Ninja Turtle lunch pail. Now I'm talking to some people from 1980 or something with the Ninja Turtle lunch pail. Y'all don't even have like lunch pails anymore. Y'all got like eye pails or something like that. Like, digitalized food and order it and somebody bring it to me or whatever. But we had Ninja Turtle lunch pails. Pause real quick. Man, y'all got some most, the most redeemed, thuggish worship I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like hard, like, mm, like, you know what I'm saying? When you talking about like, he shed his blood, he shed his shit. Pop, 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 he shed his blood, he shed his shit. I was just, you know. I lived in Vacaville, but I'm, I'm from Oakland. I actually just moved back to Oakland, and I represent 510, but I don't live like on Lake Merritt or anything. I live in 98th and Sobrani Park. Like, I had some people, y'all going, yeah, man, if you live in 98th and Sobrani Park, you ain't going, yeah. You're going, like, duck, run, cover, shooting, cops after you, somebody, you didn't do something wrong. I brought some friends over, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, they're like, man, what's that noise out there? <laughs> It's just like raining or thunder. I'm like, no, nah, that's gunfire, girl. I 
ain't no rain or thunder, but to get on the line, people shooting, somebody will die. So anyway, man, y'all got some thug, redeemed worship, like, I'll, you know it's just like, and you just get that face, you like, you tell me, I ain't never said, he shot his blood, he shot his shot his blood, I'm just like, he shot his blood, he shot his shot his blood, and I'm not even one of them thug cats, you know what I'm saying, I'm just not, that. I can't even try, you know, I try to be thug and be like, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I spent a lot of life in Vacaville. Come on. I had a lot of white friends. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, God just brought the thug out in me, so thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take that with me. I'm telling you, I'm going to go preach in Japan. And they'll be like, he shed his blood. He shed his blood. He shed his blood. He shed his blood. you be in a situation where people ain't laughing with you, they laugh at you. So you go to, you got your lunch pail and you like, man, it's a kindergarten. E. You know what I'm saying? You get on the bus, you're like, I'm going to kindergarten. I'm going to kindergarten. I'm going to kindergarten. I'm going to play on the playground. I'm going to kindergarten. I'm going to kindergarten. Jesus, shit, it's blood. I'm going to be in the cabin. So you go into preschool, kindergarten, you know, you go to recess, and you know, they read the book to you about the caterpillar, metamorphosize, and then turn into a butterfly. You're like, yeah. You got your milk and your grand. Anybody, am, I, am I talking to anybody right now? Okay, follow me. I think we should bring recess back. I don't care what they say. We need to bring recess back. We would see a lot of. I mean, violence would just cease and desist if they would just bring Foursquare back into the school system. You solve all your problems. Crack it out, sucker. Bam! What? No, I'm just joking. But anyway, and there may come a time, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you're like, you know, this is first day of school, so you don't know where the bathroom is or anything like that. And you sleep and you napping, you know? And you're like, I don't want to talk to the teacher. She big. You know? And I just don't know where the bathroom is, but I know mommy, she got spare underwear for me. <laughs> so you just let it go, you know what I'm saying? Some of you are like, <laughs> <laughs> Lord! <laughs> People laugh at you, you pee pee boy! <laughs> you smell weird. But they're not necessarily laughing with you, they're laughing at you. And here we're gonna, we're gonna get real because, you know, I think when God looks at our lives, I think God has a phenomenal sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Seriously, you have to think about this. Jesus was fully God and fully man. Right? He, he was hanging out with some real dudes. He wasn't hanging out with Peter. The whole, Peter was a cussing fisherman. Peter was a gangster. <laughs> they try to attack Jesus. Peter like, y'all don't know who I am, fool. <laughs> Cut people's ears off. <laughs> Jesus, he's like, man, I, I've called you. He was hanging out with real dudes. I'm, I'm sure, you know, one of the disciples just farted on Jesus. He's like, I don't think you let it bother him, but I think mean, Jesus... Jesus had a sense of humor. I mean, Jesus would just talk smack to the Pharisees. He's like, man, something is wrong. Do you, I mean, he was just out of the box. And God has a sense of humor. Sometimes we think God is this stoic, you know, dude with a big old gray beard that got a lightning bolt in his hand. That the moment we do something wrong, he's just going and just shock us to death. If you're serving that God, I don't know what religion you believe in. I don't know what church you're going to, but that's not my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if we're believers, if we're Christ followers, and we got the absolute 110% truth, no one can, can try to change what we believe. No Muslim, no Buddhist, nobody out there. Hey, Michael said this is it, but Jesus said it's still going, brother. Yeah. Come on. Come on. If we got the truth, we should be the most happiest. 
We should be the most freshest. We should be the most cleanest, fresh toothbrush people on the planet.